All right, all right, all right. Solid, solid work. So, it's just, so, uh, we got Wilkie here today. He's going to be telling us some more of his, uh, the Wilkie Chan Chronicles, the Hulkie Chan, <laughs> where he's, uh, he's been struggling with these dating, uh, these dating apps. Well, struggling to keep someone. He ain't struggling <laughs> finding people. He's finding plenty of people. <laughs> <laughs> plenty of people, but keeping them, it's... Yeah, you find plenty of people. It's finding the right one. Exactly. It's, it's about sorting them all out and finding what works. Um... We just got this uh, this set up, this green screen here. Or, I mean, what green screen? Obviously, I'm going to edit it so well that it won't look like there's a green screen. But then um, we also just got this boom arm here. And this boom arm is spectacular. Just uh, we'll raise that up into the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the boom. Give him the boom. Yeah, give it, give it a smack. Yeah. So, yeah. So this uh, this video here, this is another uh, this is another one of our relief videos to fill in while uh, while uh, while Bill's gone. While Bill is away in the army, and so uh, yeah. Without further ado, take it away, Wilkie Chan. Tell All us right. about these whammin. <laughs> so these whammin, man. <laughs> so. MC Pete's in the cut, obviously. Oh wait, wait, wait! Almost forgot. We gotta, we gotta make sure that we, uh, we shout out. We're using this video right here from Relaxing White Noise, the ocean waves in the background and that sound. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give him that. Give him that. Give him that ocean noise. Yeah, like a nice little background. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. But yeah, here you go. All right. So, for the past while, I've been on dating apps, and it's been quite a ride. You know, I've met some people, gotten somewhere with some people. Here, scoot, here, scoot in, scoot in, get in here. Get in here, both. Trying to get in here without ruining the green screen. <laughs> I'm making a fall. So, I've been on this stuff for a while now. Cause I, you know, I mean, I get lonely at home, especially with me working this semester and everything going on. Doing a co op. Yeah, doing my co op. Got three weeks, got two and a half weeks to go until I'm done. So, summer's almost here. <laughs> Summer break's almost here. And I'm been going on some dates and talking to people, things like that. My phone's been blown up. I mean, you can see here my phone. Yeah, my phone's kind of blown up a little bit. <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> you about to dock someone on some, on some Snapchat stuff. Yeah, Snapchat stuff, man. It, it gets pretty crazy. Um... So lately I've had an experience with someone, I mean, actually a couple experiences actually in one night. So I was up in Springfield going about going on a date with someone. They didn't show up, so I ended up eating at a pizza place alone, which was kind of lonely. And then I met someone later that night in the same city, so I'm pretty well. And then <clears throat> met someone else also. The same night? No, not the same night. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did not meet three people in one night, no. <laughs> I'm not like that. Um, <clears throat> was it that Sunday, or was it... I think it was that Sunday, maybe. Or was it, or was it... Remember, try not to give any dates. We're trying not to date any of this stuff. Yeah, I'm not really going anywhere right now. Like, I'm not serious at all right now with any of these people. Because mm -hmm. keep in mind, I'm still meeting them, still talking, and just talking around kind of things to see what works and what doesn't. So, I met someone soon enough on a weekend. You can look into the camera, too, if you want. <laughs> I just like just looking. peer into their souls. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> so, anyway, um... I'm trying to figure out because I'm running around in circles with these stories. There's so many stories to share. So how many, what's the most number of women you think you talk to at one time? Most? I want to say like five, six. Five or six. Seven or eight. 
How many? What do you, What do you think's your most successful dating app? I want to say Bumble. You think you get the most matches on Bumble? Yeah, I get the most matches on Bumble. Does it change depending on what area you're in? Because sometimes you're down here, sometimes you're up north. Oh, yeah, sometimes I'm up north and I get matches from up north. Sometimes you get matches from down here. Right, right, but which one gives you the most? Is it always Bumble or... Oh, Bumble, definitely. For sure? All right. Especially with Bumble Boost, man. Bumble Boost. <laughs> you can... Bumble Boost. Bumble, Bumble, you, Bumble You know what Bumble Boost is? Yeah. Yeah. So basically you buy it for like I, I get it for like a weekly thing So like 10 bucks roughly And I cancel a subscription right after I buy it So I then like keep renewing and such Like draining my account nice. So I just get that one week thing And I just end up seeing who's interested And I match right away And nice. hopefully they start talking So then um, You've got You've got a lot of uh, You've had a lot of crazy stories here over this past few weeks And uh, for people who don't know this is also MC Pizza, and and he's he's great. He's great. He's really he's got some <laughs> sick flows, and um, we're uh, he he's got he's already got three songs out, and we're gonna turn it into a into an EP. So we're gonna have we're gonna have three or we're gonna add two to three more songs to the list, and have that full track. We plan on adding uh, music videos to both of those. And then hopefully here sometime in the next like uh, a few months we'll be able to get that out mm. with uh, with some kind of haste. We've already worked out uh, some 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 good lyrics, mm. and we've already worked out some uh, pretty fire lyrics to me. And we've already worked out some uh, some ideas for the music video and uh, what song we think we want to use. Uh, <laughs> 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 you wanna you wanna give them a. You want to give any samples? <laughs> I don't you have want... any off the top of my head right now because we're still working on the lyrics. But you want me to? You want me to pull this, the one that we put on the Discord out? Yeah, pull it up. You want you you want me to say it or you want to say it? You say it. <laughs> all right. So all my right. phone's blown up. All right. So then, uh, here. We're, we're gonna have to censor out the ending of it, but uh, all right, you ready? So, flip my phone while coming home, finish work, one a pork, big problem, can't solve it. Women want six plus foot tall men, women don't want my six plus inch. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> oh, don't lose that. We need that. <laughs> we need that. <laughs> so, like, we, we've got some really. <laughs> And then we've got some sketch lyrics that we uh, we don't know if they'll make it into the uh, the final or not because we're still trying to craft the uh, the flow for the song. So your phone's blowing up too. I want to see what kind of matches you have. <laughs> None. <laughs> None. That's why it's getting blocked. You're, wor you're working on it. You're working on it though? Maybe. <laughs> you got to get some better pictures. Because <laughs> that's what I have. I have some pretty dope pictures and they're like, ah. Damn, I, no, I'm just sitting here reading it, and it's like, okay, actually, a lot of these are they're pretty heavy in the custom, and we don't want to get this demonetized, so exactly. we're just gonna, yeah, just gonna keep it clean, all right? Yeah, so when we release the when we release the final song, um, because we're gonna we're gonna respect Bill's wishes, we're gonna take the uh, music video, and we're gonna put it on Wilkie Chan's channel where his other three songs are, right? Yep, MC Pizza Vivo. You have all three of them posted there, or just the one? Oh, just the one music video. Okay, well, that's all. Every time on my YouTube channel, or my SoundCloud. The YouTube channel. Oh, YouTube! I only have that music video. We should figure out how to get your other two songs getting posted up there. Maybe like an audio version, because I can't make music yeah, yeah. videos for the songs. So. Yeah. Well, <laughs> how do you make a music video for the for the one for, song for, for the gibberish song? Yeah, you yeah. Just don't. You just, just, <laughs> 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 you just put like an out or. <laughs> audio only version of it <laughs> it's just no, no, no we just get like we just get like three minutes of just your mouth on the camera like <laughs> stop you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna <laughs> stop stop <laughs> all right so what's um so uh yeah so we should talk about some of your stories here if they uh, if they get too graphic 
I mean, I'm the editor, so I'll just freaking, I'll just cut them out. It doesn't bother me at all. Oh, it doesn't bother me either. Oh, what? A <laughs> what's some of the, uh, what's some of the most uh, graphic, uh, or what's some of the best stories that you've gotten out of these women so far? Out of your, out of your uh... adventures <laughs> as a single man <laughs> so... in the Bumble realm. <laughs> So with the Springfield situation, I've been sitting in parking lots for like hours at this point. I'm waiting for the second girl to get off work at like nine. It's getting to like nine. In case they second is, girl, second girl. Yeah, second girl. What happened to the first girl? The first girl, she didn't show up. Oh, okay, so she ghosted. Yeah, yeah, she basically didn't show up. So, uh, so this one, she she's working at a restaurant, all right, and she works until like nine. And I'm just waiting in the parking lot. She tells me to come in during her break. And she sees me for the first time, all right? Talk for a little bit. And then I get back out into my car and I keep waiting and waiting. Well, she has to clean up and such. Until like 9.30, they're making her do this. So I'm just waiting on her. Because, I mean, I got to go to UD later that night for like a party. So, <clears throat> so I'm waiting and waiting. And then 9.30, hits, she, hit, she comes out and... You know, stuff, stuff gets pretty good. <laughs> it was getting pretty good for, like, half an hour, so... I'm gonna leave it at that. It was, in the car? Yeah, in the, in the car. In, in the parking lot, right in by that... In the parking lot where she works? Yeah, where she works. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so that happened. Things got frisky. So you, so you try to, so you try to go out with the girl, she ghosted... Then you got frisky with a second girl, and then you went to a party the same night. Yeah, but the party Dang. was low. The party was low key lame, so I went back to the house I was staying in because <laughs> I didn't know many people there at all. Call them out. Call them <laughs> out for being lame. Well, I didn't. Here's a thing: like I only knew that one roommate I was going to the party with. All right, I got the you. rest of the people I don't even know, so I was just not feeling it at all. I it got was like you. it was like somebody's twenty first or something, so I just decided to go back to my house that I was staying at and just lay down. <laughs> what, uh, so, <laughs> so you get, do you get, uh, do you get ghosted often, or? It was only, like, that one time, I believe. Because I know, I know you find matches often. I yeah, know I find you, matches. I know you meet up with girls often. Oh, oh, oh. Because so, we're oh, always so trying to make videos, <laughs> and you're always out smashing <laughs> and dashing. I mean, some of them don't work out because they stop talking. Or it just happens to be like, oh, you know, I'm not in a rave relationship, or oh, I don't think this is going to work out, that kind of thing. I mean, that's happened a lot, which I don't mind. It's perfectly okay if they're honest. I mean, honesty is the name of the game. So, I mean, it, it just makes it easier on me to sort them out. Is so can... honesty the name of the game? I thought dishonesty was how you handled yeah, the smash and yeah. <laughs> dash. I thought that was the art. <laughs> it was the smash no, and dash. man. <laughs> I don't even know why I don't have their numbers instead of just Snapchats. But anyway, that's a different story. <laughs> no, it's just these two girls are talking to me on Snapchat right now and I don't have their numbers. So it's like, oh, I keep getting Snapchat messages from them. Which, I gotta get their numbers at some point. <laughs> Tell me that. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So then, um, with all of that, what's, um... What's what's your what do you think your best story is so far from all of this? Well, here's this one girl. We stopped talking today because I mean I'll get to that in a second, but I'll get to that in a second. But like, um, she lives up in um. Well, I'm not gonna say where she lives, but she lives closer <laughs> to my work. You're not gonna dox her, why? <laughs> She lives closer to my work than she does my house. So it makes it easier to stay at her place and just sleep next to her before work. So we did that. Um, I did three nights. Was it two nights or three nights? I don't know. But then we went shopping one night. We went we went shopping another day. And then we hung out at her place the next day. And I haven't seen her since. But, like, we were like, oh. I was like, oh, what are we? Like, are we... Like, are we going to date or what? And she was like, oh, I'm not ready for a relationship yet. I'm... So we just agreed to be friends. Well, it turns out today, 
She's like, what if I told you I have a boyfriend? I'm like, you do? And she's like, what if? And, and she pretty much says she doesn't, but she's talking to someone, right? Like, that's what she said. No, but I'm talking to someone. And this is like we're friends right now, right? Like, like we're just friends. And then I'm like, I am too. Because I'm, I mean, it's true. I'm talking to other girls. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so I get back to my office because I was driving back to my work. And because I had a really long road trip today. I was driving back to my work. And I come back and she's like, who dot dot dot. And at this point, she's like kind of mad. You should have been like, you. That's what you should have told her. So well, I'm talking to you. I had to be honest here. I wasn't. I mean, I wasn't too serious with her at that point, but it was just like, I had to spill the beans on that one. And she was like, oh, okay, I'll let you go. And you t- Wait, you told her about all the girls that you're talking to on the dating websites? I only told her about one. You don't tell them about any, man. Come on, that's the name of the game. Well, I mean, I already got busted one time from talking to other girls. Might as well get my bus- myself busted another time. So. Why you gotta bust yourself, though? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you no. want them to bust No, you. wait, okay, so the first time, the first time, all right, I was talking to this girl who lives, like, an hour away from here, all right? Yo, you still want them to bust you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Quit busting yourself. I thought that's what the apps were for. Ugh. Anyway... I was on a Snapchat call and it was like one, two in the morning or something, like one thirty in the morning. Turns out I had on speaker and I was like typing, and she was like, "Who are you? Who are you talk? Like, what are you doing? Like, why are you typing?" You should have been like, "I'm ty- I'm ty- I'm typing to Drew." <laughs> What'd you tell her? I was like, "I'm typing a message or something," and she was like, "Oh, you're talking to other girls, huh?" And I'm like, <laughs> you told her. What are you doing? I thought you were slick about this stuff. Well, apparently I suck at this. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I don't even know, man. <laughs> What's your worst? Is that your worst story? What's know. your What's your funniest story? My funniest story. Is that it? Or? Well. I don't know, but here's this one girl. I was driving her around like twice, all right, and then I see on Snapchat story she, or she sends me Snapchats of her with some dude. So it's like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> it's like, man. What's um? So you don't have to disclose it, but how often do you find a? Uh, how often do you find a girl that you connect with? A few times. So, like, personality-wise, and just, like... Well, okay. How often do you find a girl oh, that you often? connect with? How often do you connect with a girl? We connect with... We connect a lot of times, but then sometimes it doesn't work out. Sometimes we... <laughs> sometimes keep talking. Sometimes I'm not feeling it. I mean, it's... The, it's <laughs> I mean, one of them right now, she's into me, but I'm not feeling it. So, right, right. But do, do you? How often do you connect? Oh, like connect. once a week, once every two weeks. <laughs> like in what connect sense are you talking about? Because there's a lot of ways you can say connect. Any type of uh, physical connection. <laughs> <laughs> Any type of physical connection. A few, maybe like a time or so. Oh, a couple times. How often? <laughs> Once a month? <laughs> Once a month? Jeez. <laughs> this sounds like a lot of work. But, alright, respect, though. You're a, man who, uh, you're a man who appreciates and knows his tastes, what he likes. It's like a fine wine. You gotta, you gotta have the fine wine, you gotta appreciation for it. You gotta dine him wine, you know? Yep. Wine and dine. You gotta let it... Dine him wine. You gotta let it properly... Uh, Properly, uh, what is it? Lament or sit? I don't know. I don't you drink, gotta let the you gotta let the wine. wine you gotta let the wine lay in the cask to age to the proper date. You know. Exactly. That's why you have wines that are like a gazillion years old and all that stuff. So then, um, 
We lost the note because Bill, Bill took the paper that had the notes on it. I remember there was five stories that you had. Didn't one of them, wasn't one of them, uh... Am, am I allowed to say any of the names that you gave me from beforehand? <clears throat> what about the one that we called uh, Alexis, Texas? Alexis, Texas? Yeah, remember? You gave me five names beforehand. Oh, of Alexis, stories. Texas? That's the one I'm not uh, feeling. Oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one I went on a date with on Tuesday. Oh, yeah? How'd that go? I mean, it was good, but I'm just not into her now. <laughs> what about the other four? I forget their names. I think there's someone like Hannah or Jessica or something. Oh, oh. Jessica. Well, there is a girl named Jessica that started, like, chatting with me today. She was, like, an hour and a half away. Hour and hour and a half. Yeah. Then there was another girl named Michaela. She was the one who found out that I was talking to someone else today. And then... I'm also talking to Darlene, Sarah... Kyra was the one who was with another dude. So, yeah. Do you just want to, like, scroll through your list and give a whole bunch of first names? <laughs> like, how many... How many... Okay. Approximately how many women do you think that you've talked to in the last, say, two months? Okay, um... Like, in any capacity, like, between all of your dating apps. Wait, what? <laughs> How many women do you think that you've talked to in any capacity from your dating apps in the last two months? At least ten. Ten? That's it? At least. That's why I said at least. I want to say, like, I mean, to some, to any degree, it's been, like, fifteen or so. I thought you were going to say upwards of, like, 30 or 40. And the ah. last 60 days? <laughs> no, not... Like, just, like, I'm saying, like, even if it was just, like, one message, like, that they messaged you back. Like, even if you weren't, like, seriously talking to them. Like, women that you matched with on a dating app and then you messaged. Even if it was just, like, one or two messages. Hold on, I want to see this one person's response. We're supposed to be talking about this stuff right now. Sorry, I'm trying You're to You're just see on the freaking dating apps right now. You're a freaking hound, man. This is why we're making the music video. He's always smashing and dashing. <laughs> That's just how it is. I think there's at least ten women right there. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, girl, 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 got or girl, got. <laughs> <laughs> you said guy when I met girl. <laughs> We're looking at your Snapchat. We're looking at his Snapchat recents. How many girls is that? I don't know. Well, one of them's just streaks. Two of them are just streaks. Yeah, but there's at least ten girls right there. I'm talking. How many girls do you think you match with and talk to, even though it was just a couple messages in the last two months? <laughs> I thought, I was thinking somewhere upwards of like 30, 40, 50. Because I swear... I swear, every other day, we're talking about a new girl. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should make a book. Like a little diary book or something. Yeah, just a list of all the girls that you, talk, that you mentioned talk to. So then, um, if you're, uh... Dude, you're really stuck in there trying to talk with this girl right now. What are you doing? Don't download some app because some dating app told you you had to. <laughs> Come on. I'm now. trying to find out what her anonymous response was. It probably doesn't exist. It's probably a bot account that they're trying to catch you with. Jesus. So then, I guess... I'm trying to think. What... <laughs> Dude, so whack. Some of these, some of these girls. Um, here's a better question. Yeah, ask away. Have Have any of the girls ever been mean? Been mean. Yeah. Well, the one. Like you ever tell them something and the they one, like the one that I stopped talking to. She's kind of a 
she's like one of those snappy girls, you know? You like, because at one point I would just like ask about stuff or whatever, or say something, and then she's like, don't take everything so effing personal, you're ticking me off. Or something like that, and it's just like, whoa, my bad. I could, I could, I could see you taking a lot of things very personal. <laughs> you know, I'll be honest. I mean, that's how I am, man. <laughs> Damn. Um. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's. See, here's the thing. That girl and I, we went to like church together last Sunday, and so it was getting that far. But like, now it's just like we stopped talking. And it's just like, wow. Just those train of events. Are any of them ever, like, super mean to you? Like, they say, like, really mean crap and stuff? Like, you tell them something, or, like, you match with them, and then you, like, ask something, and then they're like, screw you, or, like, F off, or well, something. Well, this person did randomly block me. But they didn't say anything mean to you beforehand? No, I was just, like... That's pretty good. Like, I wasn't, like, we were just chilling, and then I was saying some snaps of her friend. Well, her friend was, like, smoking a jewel, and I was calling it a flash drive, and I was like, oh, nice flash drive. Oh, nice, nice flash drive. And then oh, I got blocked. Hey, hey, hey don't, don't, say, don't say that first word too many times, the J word. I heard that gets people in trouble, too. <laughs> you better add that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a little beep. <laughs> talking about that flash drive? Yeah, I'm talking about that flash drive. Yeah, Freaking flash drives over here getting me screwed over. They're trying to look like a computer. <laughs> Dang. So then, you've had some pretty, you've had some pretty interesting times. I feel like over the last couple months here, while you're talking to these women, you've definitely grown as a person. In some capacity. <laughs> Maybe, maybe even if it's only learning to better, better how to talk to women, how to better your rhetoric. <laughs> My rhetoric. Yeah, talking to women. So basically, don't be yourself, and don't tell them anything about you that's controversial in any way, shape, or form. And then, um... I've learned that. Yep. Yeah. And then, um, what do you think, uh... What do you think? If anyone, if anyone uh, watching this video in the future, or listening, wanted to, uh, or you were, you could give them some advice on dating apps, guys or girls, what would you, what would you tell them? Well, try, try give them like three, try give them like three points of advice. So first point, have some really lit profile pictures. Lit some profile pro picture. Okay, not like smoke. <laughs> No, 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 don't, don't you dare, don't you say any more trigger words. I don't want to have to edit all that out. Be like, no smoking. No smoking in your profiles. Okay, so what else? So turn people off. Um, just have good profile pictures, whether if it's you, like, running after a mud race, <laughs> or picture at a beach, <laughs> right, or just else? some really nice picture of yourself. What? What else, though, other than the profile pictures? Um... Confident. Don't be too shy when you're messaging people. Just now on Bumble, though, when you do match with a girl, the girl has to message you first. Otherwise, the match gets canceled after 24 hours. So if you're shy, message her for message her for her. Let her message you first. Go to Bumble if you're shy and you can't <laughs> you can't do it. Well, not only that, but on Bumble we have unlimited swipes, so it works out pretty well. And then what's your uh, what's your third piece of advice? Third piece of advice, a lot of girls are not looking for hookups, they're looking for something real, so if you're looking for something real, then have at it. Or you're act like it's real. Yes, act, act, well, like, act like it's real. Or something like that. Well, I mean, I mean, you want to look for something real, man. I mean, if you only want one night stands, then go to a club or something, don't go on Bumble. What are you talking about, man? That's why they, that's why they made that meme. You know, because all men are stereotypical. Men only want one thing, and it's disgusting. You know what I mean? So if, I, I'm just giving my advice. What, okay? do you, what do you do? So what do you do for tip three if they say they're looking for something real? Then I'd be like, "Oh, I'm looking for something real too." You know, and, and then you guys can agree on it, and it'll be good. Because then you can start getting to know each other. Think it'll blossom into something more. 
You gotta see. You gotta sow the seeds. Yeah, you gotta see. You gotta put the seeds down. Yeah, you gotta put the seed in. Put put the seed in with the first messages. <laughs> yep. Use yep, the, yep. use compliments and such as the water, yep. and then everything will grow. Yep. <laughs> yep. So you gotta put the seed in, and then you water it, and then you just let it grow, right? Wilkie, I'm just I'm not sure if you're hearing me. No, I'm hearing. Put the seed in. <laughs> and then water it and then let it grow and that's how you create a serious relationship <laughs> I hope you use uh, I hope you're not pouring the whole pail of water on I hope you put some uh, I hope you put it in a watering pail or something for a little bit of protection when you go to water that plant man <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, so then uh, I wonder what kind of, I have no idea what kind of dumb stuff I'm going to be putting back here yet, but I'm sure it'll be great. <laughs> Let's see if I can like, I'll find something to like give me, give me self a high five or something. I'll have someone like pointing down at you in the background. <laughs> Every time, every time you say something about about dating, like, there's just gonna be a guy like that meme in the background where the guy's like, "Open in Play Store." No, no, dang. I'm trying to get dude. This you're, app. you're already entranced in women. We're supposed to be talking about the women, and you're over here talking to the women. What is this? That's what I do. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess with that, we're glad to have you here. Um. Is there any, you got any other closing statements, or, you ready to put this, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you for real sending a girl picture right now. You for real doing this to me right now. Alright, alright, well, well, okay. it's always, it's always a, bl a blessing to have you here. Get, get up here, get up here, show them that. Here, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Is this, is this your lit picture? No, it's a Snapchat that I'm sending to someone who I already got their Snapchat from. God dang it. Because of my lit pictures. <laughs> Alright, it's always a blast to have you here. It's always a pleasure. Uh, come back, come back and join in the videos anytime. Even though you're you're pretty much always here, always anyways. So, <laughs> And uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. So, uh... Until next time, Panda Crew on that bamboo shoe. Peace. Sounds like